an opportunity for us to showcase Prince William County, all the wonderful things that are happening here. Uh, what we're going to do is a panel and show you from four different perspectives how technology, real estate, uh, the business friendly environment here, and all the different components that make Prince William County a really attractive place to do business. Got to pull those all together to show why we are, in fact, the crossroads of science, technology, and innovation. So, we're doing this right here at uh, the Hilton Performing Arts Center. It's on the campus of George Mason University here in Prince William, which is their science and technology campus, right across the street from our Innovation Park. This is where we're seeing a lot of activity in the area of technology companies and information technology, life sciences, and other areas, engineering, that are coming to this part of Prince William County to take advantage of our labor force, um, our value proposition, uh, and other aspects that have made us an attractive area, uh, especially in the last five or six years. So this is a showcase event, a chance to let people know about what's happening in Prince William County. So we're glad to partner with the Washington Business Journal to get the word out about things that are going on here. And, at the end of the day, they encourage new companies and existing companies to come to Prince William, take advantage of our, uh, our wonderful resources here that we have, and uh, just showcase the county. Business is hot right now, I must say. Uh, in the, uh, we've been doing economic development formally in Prince William County since 1997. And of the top four years that we've ever had in terms of capital investment, three of them have been the last three years, in 2013, 14, and 15. In the last three years alone, we've done $2.2 billion of new commercial industrial development in Prince William County through our office. So uh, you can see that that is a, a trend that is really uh, something to be proud of, and I think we know it's going to continue. So it's been great, and we see that continuing on for some time to come. In terms of the industrial market, that's where Prince William shines. Right now, we're seeing a lot of new big activity. There's large tracts of land people are looking at now. Um, they're inexpensive, there's good infrastructure, the county is very easy to work with and proactive. The GMU has been proactive and easy to work with, and these things help. So, um, good fiber, good power rates, all of that. So. Um, the story of Prince William is right now the industrial market's getting good. There's only a 2% vacancy in space. There's a lot of new activity on the, on the boards. And uh, the office market is starting to edge up a little bit. Uh, and as we see more mixed use development around here, uh, we think that market's going to get better and better. Prince William County is, is on the uh, suburbs of the Washington, D.C. metro area. And the D.C. metro area is a very strong economic vibrant area and in terms of the office market here uh, Metro DC is the second largest office market in the country just second to New York City um, Prince William is is a smaller portion of that office market we need more flexible zoning to allow for a live work play environment um, we're finding and CBRE has done some research that uh, employers for for attracting employees and for tenant uh, retention, or employee retention rather, um, those mixed use environments with lots of amenities outside the office um, is really what is, is gonna take to attract uh, the new uh, employees. The primary reason for choosing Prince County was the educated properties that, it had, that they have here. I first looked at Arlington and then Tyson's Corner and, and see how the, the population there, and although they have more IT personnel in that area, what I found in, in the Manassas County, that I had access not only to the population of IT professionals that I needed, but the cost that, that savings that I had for the the property that I was looking to, to rent to start my business was a big difference. In Arlington, you're looking at about $40 to $45 a square foot, and in Tyson's Corner is probably even more than that, about $50 a square foot here. I'm just, I get, uh, I get access to the same amount of quality, but about $17, $18 a square foot, so it was a, a, a pretty easy decision. So that's the, the main reason that I did that. And the second reason was, I worked in the Pentagon for the last 10 years before I retired. And I, the commute going from where I live in Burke to, to D.C. 
was something I didn't want to face every day, and now I'm going reverse traffic, which makes uh, the travel and the commute to work uh, a pleasure to do, to be, and even going home is a lot easier as well. I was in the Army for 23 years, of course. Uh, I was a contracting officer, so I was a program manager, and doing similar things, but from the government side. Uh, so I learned a lot of the business of doing contracting with the federal government. So when I retired, I decided to go and work first for a mid-sized company to understand how they do the business on the, on the civilian side. After about a year I am um, working as a vice president at a, at a local company here in Manassas, I decided to launch my company in the information technology and the cybersecurity arena. So it was a pretty easy match for me because I understood it from the government side and then going to, uh, to the civilian side was a very easy step for me to do. The thing is different that I've, that I've noticed in the last eight years since I've been here is the infrastructure growth. One of the things that the Tysons and, and the Arlington community have is the infrastructure. In other words, uh, the infrastructure for internet and cybersecurity, although they didn't have it before eight or nine years, now we have it. One of the biggest things, I just got into a contract with Comcast, that they actually lay in fiber optics to my entire building so I could have access to 100 megabits of uh, uh, bandwidth for my networks, which I'm doing a lot of cybersecurity and IT infrastructure. That wasn't available uh, about seven or eight years ago. As a matter of fact, they didn't even have cable. That was one of the drawbacks. I actually had to invest a lot of capital in uh, putting bonded T1 into my building a few years ago, but that today doesn't do the, the, the need that I have. With bonded T1, you only get about three megabits, but now I have access to about 100 megabits of uh, a bandwidth, which is critical to continue to grow from this area. Any marketplace that has um, opportunities where there's some holes in the retail environment, in the residential environment, we like to take advantage of that. So Prince William County, for a number of years, uh, continued to grow, continued to attract young, affluent families, well-educated families, which is a perfect breeding ground for us to do retail development. And so that really was what attracted us. And there was a number of our retail partners that were looking for a home in Prince William County that never had been in Prince William County before. And we thought if we created the environment, that would allow them to be successful in Prince William. For years, it's grown as being a bedroom community to, for families to basically raise their children and, 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 and to grow and to, and to mature. In addition to that, you have all these bases that are located, you know, with Quantico and Fort Belvoir and all the new uh, buying power of Fort Belvoir really attracted a number of big, large corporations to come to the county. Therefore, cre creating this combination of a residential community and business community. I think it's changing, it's evolving. I think it's one of the things we had to have conversations with a number of uh, businesses to locate. And I think once they understood the demographics and they, once they understood how the county fit, it, it's being the ninth wealthiest county in the country, they understood much better about what the opportunities were. Um, but I think that's changing, I think that's evolving. And as more properties develop like ours did and more businesses are successful, you'll continue to see that growth uh, come in. The primary advantage is we have George Mason University. They're an anchor for any life sciences company, biotechnology company that wants to be out in this area. They have resources, infrastructure that is critical for a biotechnology company. So they are why we've decided to stay here. And then the county as well has been very supportive. We're in the county science accelerator. Uh, that has been uh, critical for us. They have laboratory space. It's very hard to find. It's a rare commodity. Um, so that's that's been you know very successful for us and why we like being out in Prince William County. Very supportive of innovation. Very supportive of entrepreneurship. Uh, very uh, for us, they're very excited in the life sciences industry and doing everything they can to bring investment and capital. It's more than ten words, but uh, I would say innovation and entrepreneurship are two words that sum it up. It's a very unique facility for Northern Virginia Community College and for the Northern Virginia region. It's, it's a facility that does not have any academic programs in it, which is unique for Northern Virginia Community College because it's specifically designed as a workforce training center to have the flexibility, to have the capability to do the type of short-term training, certification-based training, uh, the non-traditional type training that is not academic-based, and so it is a very unique facility that helps us in terms of economic development, supporting our business partners, supporting the growth of the region from a workforce development perspective. 
It's designed to, to support companies regionally, and many of, the, many of the same mix of companies exist in Fairfax as well as Prince William. I think why it's located here is there's some real thought leaders in Prince William County who saw the strategic significance of such a facility, uh, from the supervisors to the economic development community, uh, to Senator Colgan who had an impact at the state level. So I think that helped bring it to Prince William County to having those strategic thought leaders. I think it will be a unique asset for the region, but because it's in Prince William County, obviously a unique opportunity for this county that I think will further enhance workforce development, which will enhance economic development for the county and the region. Companies who locate in Prince William County have a competitive advantage by being here because we hope that we offer a competitive advantage in terms of the workforce development opportunities that are here. That's, that'll happen at the regional center. That happens throughout Northern Virginia Community College. We hope to make this place a great place to do business. So what's interesting here in Prince William County is it's really a part of the region. And so one of the things that we think about at the Washington Business Journal is what's good for one part of the region is in fact good for all of the region. And so when you look at some of the industries that folks talk about in Greater Washington as driving economic growth and driving economic development, they're things like healthcare and technology. Those industries always, or, or have a, uh, a place here, they're growing here, they're expanding here, and I think what's happening in Prince William County is a great example for what could happen around the region. I think that there's an attraction in Prince William County for employers because the, uh, the cost of real estate is less than perhaps other parts of the region. You have a very talented workforce here. You have access to a huge market, uh, but, but you've got the critical mass in industries that want to be linked together. So healthcare wants to be close to other healthcare, and technology wants to be close to other technology. And that allows Jeff and his team to attract more of those types of companies here. 